Ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A, Breakdown and Predictions, Volume 11, will begin shortly. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enjoy. It is ooh, back into it, folks. Ready, ready, talk boxing. We are still doing that World Boxing Super Series undercard coverage. Breakdown and predictions. Johan Cong- Congolo taking on Andres Pukamikil. So this is for the WBC International Silver Light Heavyweight Championship. Now, if a quick run, you know silver, anything silver tied to your title gets you that title shot. Now this, this is for the international. So eventually, Johan or... Um, Andres is going to fight the international champion. Silvers get you that title shot. Just like uh, D- Dylan White is the silver WBC heavyweight champion. He's going to he's gonna get that Deontay Wilder fight if he gets past Lucas Brown. Now, that being said, once again, WBC international silver light heavyweight championship. Johan Congolo, former kickboxer, 10-0. With four KOs, 55 rounds. At the age of 30, he's 5'9. Going against an experienced Andres uh, Pocomico. He's uh, 103, 105 rounds, I'm sorry, with a record of 16, 12, and one, one draw. Out of his 16 wins, he has 12 KOs. Out of his 12 losses, he's been KO three times. So he's fighting at a, a Lativia. Lativa, so it's going to be a homecoming for him. So how will that pump him up? Who knows? Maybe that'll bleed into his ring experience of 105 rounds over the 55 rounds of Congolo. He's a younger man at 28, and he's a little taller at 5'10 to 5'9 and a half. Half an inch. Now, the breakdown for these fighters, as I said, uh, Andres... A little more experience in a professional boxing world. Now, as in, just far as uh, combat with another man, Congolo has a vast experience in kickboxing, just like Sergey Libinitz. He's been in there. He's been he's been uh, fist to fist. You know, he's been in tough situations. Big Baby Miller, same thing. Kickboxer turned pro. So he, he knows how to break opponents down, pace himself, get in. And considering that uh, Congo has shorter arms, he's very good at uh, strategizing how to get in on folks. Now, the breakdown itself, Congo is uh, representing that Switzerland. So the legs of these two fighters is going to play a big, important factor. Because Congo... He might have the same type of arm reach for in this fight, but his he depends on his uh, fast hands and going in and out. So his legs has to get him in and out, scoring points, backing off out of out of danger zones to safety. That's the way he fights. You know, he uses once in a while he'll try to turn his opponents, but mainly he just follow you, track you down, go in and out with his fast combinations, back off with some safety. So his legs are real good for that. That's what his legs are good for. While Andres, he uses the ring. He turns his opponent. He walks around, comes in for uh, his his firing shots, backs off. Same kind of way as um, Congolo does, just not with speed. More of a, he actually throws a little bit different type of fight and stuff. But his legs are the same. So I'm, I'm going to go with, even though Congolo uses his legs really well, gets good strength in him, in and out. Andres does it more of a in and out walk about the ring, do trying to like reset his opponent. So I I like I like people who like to uh, walk the ring, use all, all the whole ring reset opponent. I like that. So I'm going with Andres for the legs. As far as defensively, I think both these guys for the most part they end up in front of their opponents and they do get hit. Um, I. But I think uh, Johan has a better high guard defense and ability with his legs to go in and out and slip punches. Um, 
when delivering his shots, he can be countered, but you have to you have to be pretty quick because his punches are crisp and short, and it's his 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 old uh, his small defensive gap is a small one. That's his defensive flaw and his offensive delivery is small, <coughs> but mainly he's just a high guard blocker and he caves up if if you have him uh, trapped or anything. Whereas Andres, he tries to do a little sh side shoulder thing. And he tries to roll with punches. And his defense is his ability to use the ring. But he gets hit too often when he's in the range. So I'm going with Johan for the defense. Just for the fact that when they're in range, he's a better slipper to me. Whereas offensively, this is what wins the fight right here. Even though the legs are important. The, offensively, I think Johan, his speed... It's just too fast for uh, the speed is way too fast. While Andres he delivers a better variation of punches. Like you, you can't always predict what what combination is gonna come from Andres. Johan, you know it's gonna be a one-two, maybe with a dig and hook. Johan just is fast with his uh, straights. And he's gonna go in and out with his straights. Uh, the power, I believe. Uh, 16 wins, 12 KOs, 10 wins, 4 KOs. If you want to play the numbers game, then you will have to go with Andres has the power. But just to eyeball test, it looks like Johan punches with the speed is delivered with more power. So you could take, you could break that down how you want. Now, my prediction for this fight is um, I'm going with the new WBC international champion. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a Vanky fight or, or Johan already has the belt, but I'm going with Johan to win this fight. I think he's going to be uh, his hand speed is going to be the difference. I believe he's going to be able to get just about any shot he wants off, off uh, on Andres. Uh, he's going to be able to work the body, and, and as the fight gets into the second half, I think Andres' gas will be a little lower, and Congolo seems to be durable all 12 rounds. So I'm going with uh, Johan Congolo uh, winning this fight by decision. He will be the WBC International Silver Light Heavyweight Champion. I guess I forgot if he's not already, but Johan Congolo from Switzerland will win this shot. That is Mr. A's prediction. He will become 11-0 WBC International Silver Light Heavyweight Titleist uh, and try and continue to climb that ladder. Maybe he'll run into uh, Anthony Yard. Who knows? You know, because I he wants to fight Adonis Stevenson, but I just don't think uh, Adonis will be around that long, especially if he loses to Jack. But this is Mr. A. Ready, ready. Talk that box. And we're talking World Boxing Super Series undercard. Thank you for your support. If you have not already joined the show, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. I appreciate all your support and helping the show grow. Thank you, guys. And ladies, Mr. A gives you a thumb up, and I'm out.